acrylic stackable organizing drawers. Tell me how much these are anywhere else. Tons of money. These are $1.25 a Dollar Tree. They're little drawers and you can make them as tall or as short as you want. For your lipsticks, I bought six because I thought, oh no, 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 no. These will not last. Who does not need beautiful, look at quality, excellent. Look. And they're stackable, so they have the little things. Oh, my bathroom's gonna look so cute when I'm done. I mean, I pretty much have all the evidence needed for the container store to go after Dollar Tree. I mean, this is a lot of proof. They're after you and trying to take you down. <laughs> I'm just assuming, I don't know. I don't have any inside scoop. I'm just going, excuse me. How were you guys inspired to bring all this stuff in? See, I'm a conspiracy theorist too at heart. I don't know about you, but I can read between the lines and there are lines at Dollar Tree. Two stacks, I bought six so I can make three little stacks like this. If you have little things like sewing, buttons and needles and all kinds of stuff. I don't know what else you use. I have some makeup. Look how cute this is gonna look. Organize, put your stuff in these clear drawers so you know what you have. Oh, and they're big too. All your stuff is gonna fit. It can be your junk drawer that you can see through. How cute is this? It's gonna look even in the pantry. Post-it notes, why not? Throw it all in there. You're in the kitchen, you need to take a note. Ooh, I bet you could put these next to your nightstand. Put the stuff that you use right before going to bed, right? Maybe your medicine. Maybe you wanna put your jewelry in here on your desk. Maybe you wanna put paper clips, push pins in here. Listen, I bought six and I already need another six more with all the ideas I got. See? And they look expensive. Who is gonna come over and be like, oh yeah, those are from Dollar Tree. Not even the buyer who bought them for Dollar Tree stores is gonna recognize them. That's how good they are. So I'm gonna give the acrylic storage drawers five Vivian heads. Dollar Tree must haves to organize your entire house. Number two. This was the product that I was like, pump the brakes. What are we doing here, Dollar Tree? Is the plan now to go after the container store? Like we've taken down Hobby Lobby, Party City. Now the container store. These are those little stepping shelves. Organize your cans. That's what I wanna do because my pantry is you know why? Because these are expensive. I've even seen these at TJ Maxx for like $6 each. A Dollar Tree can do it for a dollar. Look how many I bought, because I got so excited. Not just for your pantry, your bathroom, kids room, your spices, for your shampoo, your conditioners. I didn't know how many I need. I didn't want to not get enough. Oh, my pantry is going to look cute. I'm going to have to start Instagram page just for organization gram. Don't sell them out. I need to reorganize my life. I feel like 2023 is going to be the year of throwing junk out and organizing. I got a million cans because you know I'm a prepper. Ugh, they're kind of flimsy. <laughs> if you're an extreme couponer and you need to organize the garage, I'm not laughing at you because I used to be an extreme couponer too. I was the lady at the store with the damn notebook. Don't play. Because you need your notebook so you can look at all your coupons. Like I was crazy like that. Nine cans fit on there. Some can be for shampoo, maybe your makeup, hair products, skincare products. OCD is going to happen here because I need the colors to match and I need all the labels straight. But we'll do that in a second. This is for demonstration purposes only. So the quality is not that great. What I would recommend is that maybe some of the cans put the heavier ones on top and then go lighter, lighter, lighter. For this, watch the weight. Probably a weight limit on this guy because it's, you know, five quarters. <laughs> <laughs> what about for your glassware? Why not? Now in your, oh my God. <laughs> just lean it back, maybe. You're off, you're not allowed. Okay, there you go. Maybe you have to just reinforce the legs. There's a little bit of a workaround. Every time I show these, people are like, where'd you get these? Dollar Tree, they got cute stuff. Look at that, food, glassware, give me some more ideas. I'm saying where I would use it, kitchen, bathroom, pantry. You're winning in life if you can get those three things figured out. Good luck finding them though, because you guys know I go to a million Dollar Trees and I only saw these like at two. Good luck, but when you find them, leave some for someone else, but try to get you a couple, because one's not enough. You're gonna need at least three. So I'm gonna give the step shelves three Vivian heads. I know you're thinking, but Vivian, you just went on and on about them. They're kind of flimsy. They're gonna work, but your expectations can't be high. Number three, four grip rotating hooks. You're getting two hooks in here. I wasn't sure what to use these for. I thought maybe for hats, but I'm thinking for like belts and ties because they're rotating. Isn't that a great idea? I saw them in two colors, gray and white. You see, when you put them in your closet, they rotate. Oh. 
<laughs> oh yeah, it'll work for hats. I was also thinking in the laundry room, if you need to put some panties to dry, <laughs> bras to dry, you're not supposed to put that in the dryer because it's gonna get all jacked up in there. I got a lot of things like this to hang up. Look how nice your hats look on there. Now let's try it with ties. <laughs> Look at these ties. And you're like, what color do you want, babe? We got a match. This was a great find. I was not expecting to love this as much as I do. This rotating built-in technology for a dollar and a quarter. Even the little hook here is so well designed so that's not gonna slip off, but it's flexible enough that you can get it around the little bar. We need more of these because I can think of all kinds of stuff to hang on here. On our trip, when we go out of town, on that Fingers crossed that I can get it manifested this year, but why not throw some of these in your suitcase? You don't have a lot of room in a cruise. Your bathing suit when it's drying, hang it in the shower. They are a little bit plasticky, but besides that, this was a good find. So I'm gonna give the rotating hooks five Vivian heads. Number four, under bed storage bag. This one has a little clear front so that you can see what's in there, but I think it's deeper for socks, sweatpants. Like these are thick. You're gonna love them. And if you have some, I know you love them. I can't live without these. See, with the little clear front. Oh, this is good for baby clothes. Maybe you had a baby and then you're going to have another baby in like four years. Save your stuff. I love the window. So basic, like I am impressed with the basic stuff. You see what I'm talking about? How deep socks, underwear, bras, but how many sweatpants are gonna fit? Three pair of sweatpants, toys, even Christmas decorations. That's a great idea. Each holiday can have their own little baggie. Then they're not gonna get nasty in the attic or in the garage. And then you can look through the window. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can cricket it and put it right there, Christmas or whatever. Man, I got the best ideas. I'm gonna have to go back, but when this video goes live, they're gonna sell out. The power of Vivian tries. <laughs> I'm kidding, not kidding. I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Number five, collapsible storage container without a lid. They're great for storage because they're easy. It's like a drawer you can just pull out. If you have like a dresser that is busting at the seams, you know, like me, like you can't open the drawers because there's so much packed in there. Well, now you got overflow storage. This is for overflow. Put your socks in here, your undies in here, right? You can tuck these away somewhere else. And these came in tons tons of colors and designs. Dog toys, books, endless possibilities with this one. Look, and it comes with a little board. Top of the closet, you know, the little shelf up there, have a couple, it has a little handle so you can just pull it out. Great for books. You're gonna have so much storage, you're gonna have to go shopping because you're gonna think you ran out of clothes. But no, you just hit it somewhere else. <laughs> Perfect for clothes, look at that. Exercise equipment. If you have that stuff all over the house like I do, as display and decoration, you need a place to put it all. Unless you like the gym aesthetic, maybe you do. You're like, those weights aren't for working out as a display. <laughs> if you have those resistant bands, I got a couple pair <laughs> I've never used. Throw it in here. First of all, out of sight, out of mind, you don't feel guilty. Number two, you're organized, you get credit for that. I have now made room and allowed room for more things to come into my life. You gotta look at the silver lining in all scenarios. This is perfect, excellent for the price. And I'm even surprised at the size of it. I thought it was gonna be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna give this storage box five Vivian heads. Number six, dish rack. This one I wasn't too sure of because I feel like if the dishes are stacked this way, they're gonna take up more room than just stacking them high. Let me know your thoughts. I bought it because I thought, well, we'll try it. Don't knock it till you try it, right? So I have some plates here. Oh, but it's flimsy, you see it? About to flip. <laughs> you better balance this well. <laughs> What's happening? There you go, now they're balanced. But I bet you can put tons of plates in each of these, right? Look at that. See, this is not, I love it. What? You know what, I complained about the wire, but listen, the wire is adjustable. You gotta just wiggle it in there. It's a little wonky in the beginning because it's thin, but you can shape it yourself. I was kind of hesitating because I feel like this is taking up a lot of room. You want to display your china? I, nobody does that anymore, but if you do, keep the tradition alive. <laughs> I'm trying to see how many plates fit in here. Maybe you do four plates per thing, but maybe do large, medium, small. It's not gonna hold a lot, but I think it looks really pretty. You see how it's kind of wonky? Maybe glue it down to the counter, <laughs> don't do that. I like how it looks and you paid a dollar 25, so you're still gonna look organized. Number seven, shoe storage. It will hold eight pairs of shoes. Rule number one is keep it sexy at all times, but rule number seven is we use everything for multiple purposes. This is the perfect size too, look at that. Usually these are like 
like super long, which those are cool too. But for a dollar and a quarter, I have eight pockets a cruise. And I keep talking so much about cruises that if this video gets to 20,000 likes, I might have to take all this stuff on a cruise and show you how I would use them on an actual cruise. How fun would that be? If you wanna see that vlog, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. That helps me out and that's how I get to the top of YouTube. So it's for shoes, right? Put shoes in, put your sandals. Look how cute this looks. That's how they're gonna look on your closet door or in your closet. But you know that on a cruise you take this for shoes or the other things that you've hauled with you and you just wanna visually see where everything is. Now the bathrooms on a cruise are tiny, okay? So you don't have a lot of space. This gives you a whole wall of storage. All of your toiletries can fit in there. If you have a mini hair straightener, you have a little baby blow dryer, a little water bottle. Look how nice that looks. Now you have plenty of space to put all your stuff and just visually see everything. See, I'm a visual person. I gotta see what I got. What did I bring? I forgot something. This solves that problem. Maybe next to your washing machine and have all your detergents in here. If you guys can think of anything else that I'm missing, let us know your ideas in the comments down below. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Number eight. Jumbo storage bag in navy blue. Now these came in two different colors. I saw a gray and then the navy blue. Everything I picked up today, I try to get in the navy blue color. So it's all kind of matchy matchy. This jumbo storage bag is perfect for sweaters, shirts, slacks, blouses, scarves, shoes, socks, anything. But it's long enough. Can we put like wrapping paper and then put it under a bed or on top of the closet? You know, that top shelf. Watch it not be that long. But that's what I would, you don't think a roll? Uh, maybe not. Not. Look how nice these are. You see that pretty navy blue color? You're paying five quarters for this stuff. Okay, so we're not gonna get super picky about the quality. <laughs> has little handles on the side. That's pretty big, isn't it? What else can we put in here? Like, I don't wanna put only clothes. Actually, the zipper's not that bad. Here we go. Very nice, look at this. Oh, we can put all kinds of stuff in here. Jeans, spring and summer are coming. That's a great idea. And then put them under the bed. I think it's gonna be perfect for sweatpants. These are the cutest, most comfortable, fluffiest, thickest sweatpants of your life for my website, cute.com. Fold them like this and put them in here. Or what I was thinking was to fit a lot more. Do you like when you're packing? I went to Europe last summer and I packed with one suitcase by rolling things up like this. Or you can just roll it up the normal way like that. Or maybe you just leave it like this, right? They're gonna fit. Here's why you wanna do this once a year. You wanna take out all the spring stuff and put away all the winter stuff. That way you can see all your clothes. How many pair of sweatpants are you gonna be able to put in here? Oh, I could probably put another six pair in here. Look how cute this looks. Boom, winter stuff is put away. You ain't gotta look at it till next year again. And you got your little handles here. Okay, I'm gonna need a couple more of each of these things because I wanna just have all my spring stuff out, my shorts, my t-shirts, my tank tops. If there's too much things in the closet, I wear the same two shirts all summer long. Love the color, love the flexibility of it. If your bed is real low, shove it under there, it's gonna work. In the beginning, I was like, eh, the quality, but I think this is the same quality you're gonna get at Walmart too. I don't think they make these things any fancier. So for all of those reasons, I'll Give the jumbo storage bag five Vivian heads. Number nine, collapsible storage container. Uh, why do I love it? Look, for the kids' room. For the bathroom, maybe put toilet paper here. Oh, look, it has a thing to keep it flat. If you have a closet in the bathroom, put some toilet paper in here, some toiletries. You have a privacy cover. To the little Velcro, boom, close it up, private. On the packaging, it also said for books. Maybe crafting stuff. And a fun fact about Vivian, she's an avid reader. She is. I love to read. Every subject, everything. I wanna hear about it, I wanna talk about it, I wanna learn about it. I'm not getting rid of any of my books. Oh, they fit in here perfect. If you need some book recommendations, let me know, cause I got you. And then easy to access whenever you're ready to read again. <gasps> or what if we put them up like this, right? I'm gonna put all my books in here so they don't get dusty and gross. So I'm gonna give the covered collapsible storage box five Vivian heads. Number 10, organizing baskets. I guess that's what you would call these. Let me teach you a life trick. Okay, you got a junk drawer, just like me. I got a couple of them. <laughs> you're at Dollar Tree and you're like, I don't know how many of these I need. Do I need long ones? Do I need these? It's a mess. So you do nothing because it's very overwhelming and you're just like, never mind, it's fine. I'll do it next time. 
happens to me every single time I go. Well, here's a life trick. Open up that junk drawer, take everything out of it. You're gonna take some paper, put them in the drawer so that you can get the shape of the drawer. Then you're gonna tape those papers together. Now you have the exact size of your drawer. Now there's no guessing. Piece of tape, boom. There's the size of my drawer. So take this with you to Dollar Tree. And now you have a visual to plan and map out that drawer. Put it on the floor at Dollar Tree because there's not a lot of space for you there, but you're gonna go, okay, that one goes there. That one goes here. So I'm gonna need two of these and one of these. So then your drawer looks like this. Everything fits. And you can do this for any drawer, not just big drawers. If you wanna do just this shape, maybe it's just for like knives or forks and spoons and you don't wanna get these big ones, now you know because you're going to measure with this. You're gonna put them this way, you're gonna need one, two, three. And then over here, you could probably do one of these. Three of these skinny ones and one of these, boom, the drawer is perfect. Listen, I had not seen these at Dollar Tree before. Quality is up here. They're like a rubber, but not plasticky. They're soft, but not flimsy. I don't know how to explain it. Almost like silicone. So I'm going to give the organizing baskets five Vivian heads. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.